Oh shit. I'm sure you just search his name, all that shit pop up. So we're gonna we're gonna pull this up. If you hear some booming and shit, that's some firecrackers, man. Niggas ain't playing. Uh Alright, so it's been a couple days since we talked about I want to see about these this nigga Instagram post, bro. That nigga been posting some weird. Well, whoever running that nigga paid been posting some weird shit. Been posting some really weird shit. I won't cap. You know what? Fuck it. I just go to the nigga Instagram. I already been there. See what I'm saying? I already done been there. <clears throat> like, bro. Like, bro, this is... Okay, that's the, that's the post that everybody was speaking on about how... They was gonna say this shit come get shot up. Don't show up if you like living all type of weird, crazy shit like that. I'm talking about look at look at the shit these niggas is saying in the comments. I mean, I ain't seen niggas talk about this shit, but this is the first time I actually been here to look at the comments for myself. And yeah, niggas was going wild. This won't be safe. That shit wild, bro. Okay, then, after the nigga died, bro, that shit is when shit started getting creepy. Like, what the fuck? Like, how is this? Who posted on this page, bro? Posting shit. Oh, my God. He's here, going to shock the world when the time is right. Game over. Game had just begun. I don't know about y'all, but that shit creeped me out a little bit. Like, who is doing this, bro? Like, they need to go and come out and say this was me or some shit like that. Because the shit keep getting worse. And if I hope I can find that, that story post. That was posted to his story. I hope it's still there. He got something on his story right here. Then this one was posted. Marincella Santaria. Just say. Oya Shango. Yenya Makumba. Give me the power, I beg. Adeidui Dembela. Like creepy as fuck, bro. Shit is creepy. I don't know. And then the caption just say, I they do a demo lie. Then they say, Demigod. Hashtag Demigod. What the fuck? Who is doing it? Yeah, this is shit. This is what I'm talking about right here. The life of a Demigod. You can never kill a Demigod. The power of voodoo is real. The world will be shocked very soon. Mark my words. So what the fuck exactly is the definition of a demigod? What the fuck is the definition? A being or partial... Uh, a being with partial or lesser divine status, such as a minor deity of offspring of a god and a mortal. A mortal race to divine rank. Come on now, dumb that shit down for me. I need them to dumb that down. A man who is greatly admired or respected. Was he greatly admired, admired and respected though? Let me go down here. What is a demigod? A demigod, a divine myth mythological figure 
A god who is either part human or a minor god. Okay. Yeah, this is creepy. I shouldn't even look that shit up. It's getting more and more creepy. Life of a demigod. You can never kill a demigod. The power of voodoo is real. And the world will be shocked very soon. Why do they keep saying that? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's creepy. Why the fuck do they keep saying the world will be shocked very soon? Shit. What the fuck is going to happen? Is this nigga alive, bro? I know this nigga not alive. Bro. We know that this nigga is not alive, bro. We know that already. We know that already. But anyway, this video say the internet think that they solved the murder. So about let's the see whole what the fuck Julio, he about. situation, and there has been a ton of updates come out. I'm sure you guys have seen all of the other blogs posting every single piece of information that they could come across. But I have just been kicked back, waiting to see what all develops. And boy, do I have some updates for y'all. So since the last time we talked about it, the internet has been doing their thing. They've been making their rounds, trying to figure out exactly what happened, how it happened and who was responsible for it and i knew it was only a matter of time before somebody started pointing the finger towards somebody else and saying this is the person responsible and it's looking like the internet feels like they have cracked the code that they've solved the case so first things first i've <laughs> seen a lot of people online falling into this trap of believing that maybe julio fulio hasn't actually passed away mostly because his instagram account has stayed relatively active since all of the news broke that this happened people first noticed it when young and ace dropped his diss song and posted it on instagram and julio's account responded to it that's what i'm saying this this shit like this like who is doing this bro from a dead man's account let's not forget this is a dead man's account who is doing this with a trash can emoji but they didn't stop there they also started posting things like this right here a clip of the undertaker with julio's face like superimposed on the undertaker oh my God. And you can see that that had a caption on it that said, my grandma does voodoo. And it was also posted by Julio Julio's official account. And the That's whole voodoo saying, thing is something weird, that Julio bro. has hit on before. He said, you know, that he had done voodoo before to try to keep the bad juju off of him. And that's why he was still alive and all that. But I'm not going to entertain that right there. I'll leave it up to the channels that are solely dedicated to that type of content to run y'all through that. But he posted that and then they've been following it up with other posts like the right here i heard about brandy first yeah, when i yeah. was in seventh grade the reason why i liked it because everyone Ain't else no liked it how they do we dembella <laughs> And this post right here says the life of a demigod. You can never kill a demigod. The power of voodoo is real. The world will be shocked very soon. Mark these words. What Essentially, the they've been they on this talking whole, like, about, voodoo man? thing claiming that Julio may still what be What the alive. fuck does that mean? A lot of people have come to the conclusion that this is probably his girlfriend running this account or his mom because as soon as Julio passed away, his mom posted something up saying that they were already working on a documentary. They were running promos on Julio's main Instagram page, basically trying to, you know, drain every last drop of monetization out of him while they can. But I want to make it clear, man, Julio was hit in an ambush and bro, bro is not coming back it's wishful thinking but there ain't no that spell in the sad, world bro. that could take back what's already been done it's crazy i have to even clear that up in order to present this story but there we go clear it's sad isn't it's sad not because he like a good person or or no shit like that it's sad because bro i know what well, i don't know but i know that it's a way motherfuckers can talk that shit out bro get through this shit this shit crazy, bro. Another nigga gone. Another rapper gone, bro. Rappers dying so fast, bro. 
cleared up, bro, Julio is gone. And while people are distracted with that, there is actual shooters, actual real life killers that are still out there. So let's move on into the main topic, which is the internet feeling like they have already solved the case. And this comes after the footage of what went down actually hit the internet. And it paints a pretty clear picture of what happened in the parking lot of that Holiday Inn Express. So basically, there were allegedly at least three shooters in this incident. And what these guys did was essentially form a triangle. So think of the Holiday Inn Express's driveway yeah. and how it looks. There's an entrance point on one side of the hotel. Then there's the parking lot that goes around towards the back of the building and the exit. And essentially what they did was they lined a guy up at the entrance, lined a guy up at the part where it goes around towards the back of the hotel, and lined a guy up at the exit when Julio Fulio Damn. pulled in. Damn, bro, he had nowhere to go. They said, they said, this time we will get the job done. That nigga been shot at a little, like what? How many times, chat? How many times that nigga been shot at? How many times? At least two or three. Anybody know? That nigga been shot at, at least two or three times, bro, and lived all the time. He got, like, grazed. I know he got shot in the foot. Like, what the fuck, bro? It was on him. Like, he, somebody definitely gave this location up. Definitely. For niggas to be on him like that. Into the Holiday Inn, the guy at the entrance let off a couple of shots and that steered him towards the part that goes around towards the back or the exit. And because of how they set it up, it didn't matter if he turned right or if he turned left. There it were was shooters over at it, every point. Now here goes a short piece of the clip that was released online and I just wanna point a few things out. So when it starts, we can see right here at the bottom, there is this guy, he comes out, he runs to the left towards the entrance of the Holiday Inn and then we've got this guy. Okay, hold on, out, I didn't see runs. nobody. So when it starts, we can see right here at the bottom, there is this guy, he comes out, he runs to the left towards the entrance of the Holiday Inn. Okay, there I seen a little something, something. but where the fuck was so he So when it starts, we can see right okay. here at the is bottom, this his there head? is this guy, he comes out he runs to the left towards the entrance of the holiday inn nah, and but then I we got this something. guy here in this hoodie that runs right here to this curb now there is also a guy positioned up here in between these cars so the guy who took off to the left let's off the first couple shots we can see the car pulling forward we can see this guy right here doing some more and wow, you can see the flashes bro. from the guy up here up at there yeah see took off the to first the time left. i let's seen it i ain't see them we can see the i ain't see this nigga up here Car pulling forward, we can see this guy right here. Like, look, you see, y'all seeing the movement back there? I'm seeing the movement, bro. You're doing some more. Now you're gonna see the flash. The flash. Flashes, you see them bitches? Whoa. This is from the guy up that shit here crazy. as well. Now, I know that that was a super quick clip, but it paints a pretty clear picture of what happened and why there was really no escaping this for Julio. They really zeroed in, triangulated how they were gonna do this, and then executed their plan. Now, I think the most telling part of this footage is how they were just laying in wait. It's like they already knew the exact time that he was gonna be pulling into this exact hotel and keep in mind he booked after he was kicked out of his airbnb so this was a last minute thing he was doing going to this hotel and these guys like i said just happened to know the exact time location and spots they needed yeah to somebody be dropped it's it almost low. like they had the information they needed beforehand now since this footage has come out the internet's been doing its thing it's been looking around and it has come they to already the found some niggas it has found the people responsible oh and my god fairness, it's bro if the motherfucking police don't do it, I tell you who will. This motherfucking internet. Niggas fans is crazy, bro. Niggas fans do not fucking play about their favorite artists and shit like that. Niggas, hey, niggas fans don't play. They will get a nigga locked up. Oh, God. They, you going to jail if you kill their favorite rapper and you did it on, with, with any surveillance around, any of that. If you did it with any, any anybody can know, you going to jail because the fans going to be on that. No cap. It's not like the guys that the internet is accusing no cap. have been trying to duck and right deny it. In fact, they've been doing the exact opposite and basically playing into it.
Now let's get into suspect number one, which is a guy that goes by the name Fully from the Four. And they are linking him to this because apparently he was posting photos the day that this happened in the same outfit that one of the shooters had on. So Fully from the Four, he posted this photo on the 23rd, which is the day that this happened. And this is the outfit that people are saying one of the shooters had on. So I double checked just to make sure that this wasn't posted before Fulio passed away. So I pulled up the inspect console in Google Chrome just so I could see the exact time that this was posted. And it was posted at 7.23 at night. So about 14, 15 hours after the incident with Julio had taken place. So 100% it was posted after everything went down. Now the caption on this photo said, parked every dog got his day with the thumbs down emoji. And apparently a fan left a comment on here that said he had it coming and this guy left a heart emoji on it and the self snitching is fucking crazy so wait a minute i'm sorry i'm sorry i gotta run this shit back i am sorry i'm fucking sorry i gotta run this shit back i have to i know i know y'all might have been paying close attention but i was kind of paying attention but i gotta run this shit back shit just got real for. and they are linking him to this because apparently he was posting photos the day that this happened in the same outfit that one of the shooters had on so okay. from the four he posted this photo on the 23rd which is the day that this happened and this is the outfit that people are saying one of the shooters had on so i double checked just to make sure that this wasn't posted before fulio passed away so i pulled up the inspect console and google how do you do this? I need to know how to do this. Anybody know how to do this? If you watch this and this, if you watching this on YouTube, you watching this on my Twitch. How the fuck do you do this? How do you pull this up like this? This nigga doing some investigation shit. Chrome just so I could see the exact time that this was posted and it was posted at 7:23 at night so about 14 15 hours after the incident with Julio had taken place so 100% it was posted after everything went down now the caption on this photo said part every, every dog, dog got his day with the thumbs down emoji and apparently a fan left a comment on here that said he had it coming and this guy left a heart emoji on it and the actual first comment Comment on the post but, is this one right here that says you killed Julio. And whoa! Whoa! That is wild. I'm telling you, niggas, fans be with the shit, bro. You fuck with a nigga favorite rapper. That's what you do. Fuck with a nigga favorite rapper. I can't wait till I'm somebody favorite rapper. If y'all ain't, go check out this song that I just dropped uh, yesterday or something like that on my channel. Anyway, I'm, I can't wait till my nigga favorite rapper. Don't, boy, that shit crazy. You kill Fulio. That's the comments on this nigga picture, bro. He started receiving all of this attention. Bro went on his. Niggas can't wait to brag about catching a body, bro. I don't understand that shit. Instagram stories and started trying to sell promo to people. But yeah, that's suspect number one. Is there enough there to say he did it? I don't think so. But Hell there nah. is enough speculation he, for people that to have crazy. Interest. So moving on to suspect number Even with two. them, even with motherfuckers just saying that, the police looking at you, boy. They watching. Even with motherfuckers just saying it. You motherfuckers just thinking you doing did it. They own you. So the second guy everybody has taken an interest to is this dude here in this blue hoodie. And I can't count with y'all. If either one of these dudes was the one trying cloud chase from this, it'll be this guy. So this dude goes by the name of J4 Crazy. And he's a rapper. And I gotta say, if bro is responsible in any way, like if an investigation takes place and they find out this dude was responsible, then his activity on social media shortly after can only be described as despicable because apparently he is the first one of these guys to hit the studio afterwards and start dropping lyrics so the day that this all went down the 23rd this dude j4 crazy hops on youtube he uploads a song titled father forgive me and the thumbnail that he used for this song is actually a picture of the car in the parking lot with the holes in the window that is crazy behavior but there's more to it because people went to his 
Instagram page and they seen that he was posting snippets of this song that he made called Man of Steel. And they're saying that in this video, he's wearing the same hoodie that the one guy was wearing in the video that we just watched, showing it all go down. And Bro, how can they tell? How can how can y'all fucking tell from a blurry ass man? And then I mean, just look at this snippet right here, this snippet video. Look at any black hoodie look like that when it's dark. Man, look at this stuff right here, bro. This dude right Goofy. here wants it bad. I ain't gonna lie. The first guy we looked at, I got my doubts about that. But this guy right here, bro, either this is, you know, a serious, serious form of clout chasing. Crash, or this nigga's a crash. He wanna go to jail. But it's not like this guy and the first guy aren't connected in some way because that song I told you that this J4 Crazy dude released called Father Forgive Me, he actually posted on Instagram as well. And lo and behold one of the people that commented on this is none other than fully from the four so i don't know maybe maybe, maybe crazy. they really so are maybe they reckless know. and careless know, either way i'm convinced the person that did do it is on a countdown clock anyways i'm sure the oh police God. are working in this case hard everything we're seeing they're seeing believe it the nigga that did this shit he probably so scared in right some now. way i'm sure it's only a matter of Duncan time dodging but it that shit. is pretty much what we've got. That's the two people that the internet yeah, I appreciate and y'all coming through. Uh, like the stream for me. Like the stream. Responsible for this. Let's see what else we got on this shit. Basically, it for the video. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. As always, it's been fun rocking with y'all, man. I'm out. District kid makes it. Okay. So let me see what else, what else been going on. That's all the new news on the Fulio shit. Okay, okay. Feds know who did it. How he know the feds know who did it? Want to support me? Go to Nene Marie 3. All the thugs, man. With that being said, man. We got Julio Fulio, man. I need y'all to smash that like button, man, so this video can get around. <laughs> I said, how he know the feds who did it? Know who did it? If y'all don't know, this is Trenches News from from Chicago, and he uh, worked for the police. <laughs> I need y'all to smash the like button. Send this to everybody you can. Um, All right, get to it, my guy. I don't see it, you know. But everywhere he went, he did drop his location, except Holly. She said the feds came, man. Yeah, I ain't finna listen to this cone, man, nigga. Yeah, I think this. I think that might be it for the Fulio shit. What y'all think? What's next? What else we got? 